Here we're in front of this crazy big tropical looking plant and it's actually hardy for us in eastern Tennessee. This is Musa Bazoo. So a lot of times you'll hear people call it the Japanese fiber banana. Uh, or just the Japanese banana. There's actually another Musa species that people, that are, it actually is a true fiber banana, uh, and this is not it. We'll call this the hardy banana, uh, the Japanese banana. A lot of different names this one goes by, but what you need to know of is this is really one of the hardiest bananas that you can add to your home landscape. Uh, you can imagine this next to a pool, try, if you're trying to bring a, a tropical look into a garden. Uh, one thing that's interesting about bananas is everything that you see above ground is actually a type of pseudo stem. Uh, there's actually no uh, you know, true stem that is above ground. Everything else happens above ground. Uh, these are all just big leaves whirled together. Uh, now, this does not produce bananas like you see in the grocery store. Uh, it can produce a bloom, uh, and once a stock blooms, it actually uh, will uh, that whole that whole pseudo stem will die back down to the ground? Uh, the blooms are quite interesting. There are none on this one right here, uh, but uh, this time of year, these ones are still relatively short. But these can get well, well above my head, depending on the year. Uh, they maybe could use a little extra mulch uh, in colder zones than uh, East Tennessee. Uh, but a great hardy, tropical-looking. A herbaceous plant for the home landscape or commercial landscape. Musa bazoo, uh, typically you'll see the, this listed uh, as zone 5 through 10. I don't know if I totally believe that. I think it's probably more of a zone 6 and above plant. Can get up to 14 foot high, can spread out uh, to 14 foot wide, but will continue to uh, colonize an area, especially in rich soil with plenty of moisture. Uh, it does have a bloom on it. Uh, the a banana bloom is very typical. It's a big, a big stock-like bloom that's quite heavy and large. Uh, this one typically does not produce any sort of bananas, uh, but just a bloom. Uh, the flower can, in fact, be a little, quite a bit showy. Uh, in colder zones, you would need to mulch this to ensure hardiness. Here's a landscape tip. This plant is effective when grown as a garden centerpiece or for a tropical flare near patios or bodies of water.